Hello and welcome back guys, you are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I've got a brand spanking new game called Adventure Communist. The same people that have made Adventure Capitalist, Hyper Hippo down here, have come out with this new game. It is in closed beta, I got access to it, and there's no NDA on it, so I'm going to be sharing it with you guys and see what all they've got going on. I mean, check it out, we got a website over here, look at it, look at it, you can sign up for it right there, there's really like not much information on it so you just kind of got to go with preconceived notions you know like communism when the, according to my um, american history class communism what do i know about communism hitler stalin nukes and then we went to the moon that's about all i know really i'm just kidding anyhow no uh, adventure communist is an interesting thing i think it's going to be all revolving around setting up sort of some sort of uh, government and the production, so we say the production line of government, I should say. Uh, we've got some sort of fictitious biz country. <laughs> and apparently, we're gonna do stuff like make potatoes. I don't know. This is what you see right when you come off, so let's go investigate it. Let's see what this is all about. A lot of cool stuff been going on, guys. We'll get into it a little bit, though. But you guys were like, Brathka, you haven't played Adventure Capitalist in a long time. Where was it? Where was it? It was right down here. Play Adventure Capitalist has been like two weeks. I know. Overwatch came out and I've been super excited about it. Dude, I even made a VR headset to play the game. Go check it out. Last video. Anyhow, though, let's check this out. Potatoes. What do I do? I do let's just take a look at what's on the screen. We got some wealth, question mark. All right, so one potato equals one bro coin. A flag, land, we've conquered new land. Communists equals 50. We've got ore, we mine it up, we dig it up and we make something out of it. 250. Weapons <laughs> is 500. Medicine, 1,000 right there. Okay, so interesting. Train 100 nurses to unlock. Manufacture 1,000 ambulances to unlock this one as well. Established 10,000 field hospitals to unlock. So it's like we're fighting a war right here as communisms. I mean, when's the last time you actually got to play a game as a communist, right? When was that? I, I can't think of it. I mean, you, you maybe for a little bit, but it's a slightly new take on something. Let's go ahead and buy something. Let's, I want to make something. Make a potato. There we go. You click on the potato, you make a potato. Look at this guy. Nice, happy farmer. Got his little wheelbarrow. Got a, a lot of potatoes up in that wheelbarrow of his. <laughs> I'm not getting any clicky sounds. This is obviously a very kind of closed beta, so there's a lot of stuff we got to do. Anyhow, let's go ahead and upgrade our potatoes. Now we get more. Now we get more stuff. So the wealth... Each time we click it, yes, we're getting four. All right, but a, how much does a farmer cost? Oh, did I buy one? I don't know. Mm, potato UL1 unlocked. Interesting. All right, so we can start getting some land. We can click on ore. All right, so you can run all of this stuff, just like businesses. Pretty similar. We're used to seeing stuff like this. The timers are longer as you go up to higher level stuff. How much is a farmer? Oh, there we go. Buy me a farmer. Yes, thank you, sir. Tired of clicking on potatoes. All right, so we got our we got our bro bucks up there. Da, 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 da. Buy a super highway. That's gonna give you some more stuff. What do we got under settings? Just out of curiosity. We can mute the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Or we cannot mute the game. The music so far, in my opinion, it, it's okay. It's kind of catchy, but I think it's a little bit too short. <laughs> it's it's many. It's very repetitive. So I'm I'm gonna. A little bit, a little bit too repetitive, maybe. All right, so we have different like crazy upgrades that we could do right here. We could buy a colony of ants, and that's apparently going to do us something a little bit better. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another farmer. There we go, making two potatoes every time that completes. Land is going to be a super highway, or I could buy a mega drill, so we drill for ore much faster. Let's go ahead and get these running again. Don't want to just leave them there. Weapons, um, communist ideals. That'll give us something more extra. Very good. So we can make weapons more efficiently. I'm not sure how that one goes in there. <laughs> and a clone lab, of course. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to end up kind of like an adventure capitalist as you kind of unlock certain things. They had a lot of different themed sort of startup things that you could do. And, uh, I wonder if we're going to see that. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Wow. Okay, so that multiplies by four each time. So now we're getting 16. That's worth it. And three. Beautiful. All right, so now we're getting a lot more wealth out of that. It seems like you need... Like potatoes only apply to potatoes, or what does wealth apply to? Where do I where do I spend my wealth? Probably really clear to you guys, but I'm not seeing it yet. Hang on, don't worry. I mean, like the last time I did Adventure Capitalist on the very first episode, I restarted and got zero angels. Ah, people haven't let me live it down since then, and it's been an entire year. So let's not make that mistake. 
<laughs> I'm not sure how long this closed beta is. Some people are saying it's a little bit short. You can kind of play through all the content. Um, I don't know. We're going to follow it. We're going to see what happens right here. It'll be kind of a secondary series as kind of tacked on to what we'd have as far as the adventure capitalist goes, which again, I'm going to be continuing to do on Mondays. I think there's also a new event that might even be coming out potentially right now or pretty soon, and we'll be able to use that. Obviously, we're making wealth here. And we got Potato UL2 unlocked. Good deal. It looks like I could potentially switch the background at some point here, but that's not happening. So we'll just keep moving on. You can buy one, buy 50% of, I would say, your probably total money or 100%. Farmers cost 10 potatoes or one land. Is that what I'm getting at here? Let's buy a worker. Alrighty, so we've unlocked some more stuff, apparently. <laughs> I'm not 100% understanding this. What's the hat for? What is this hat? I don't know. I see money, but I can't click it. I got money that I can't spend. I don't like that. Make potatoes to upgrade potatoes. Make guns to upgrade guns. Make ore to upgrade ore. Make land to upgrade land. But where do I spend my money? Could you imagine if I brought all the wealth I had from Adventure Capitalist into this game? Boom. We'd have an empire in no time. Wait. No. This keeps changing. I don't know what's going on over here. Potatoes. Wait, I, sp I hit the I hit the dollar thing and something's changing. If I hit the dollar here, it's then changing over there. Okay, is it saying that I can buy a worker for 150 potato, one mysterious hat, a land and an ore? What if I just click it? Okay, I think I spent a little bit of money. I haven't figured it out yet. I can feel it now. You guys are getting ready. To it's so obvious. <laughs> it's too smart for me. All right, let's upgrade the land. We'll get some more land. Potatoes. Yes. I can at least understand the potatoes. I mean, this is simple enough. You buy workers, you make potatoes. And once you get some potatoes, you make more potatoes. Or let's just keep working on the ore. This is just how much I have. If it goes up, then yes. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take a look at the unlocks. We can at least understand the unlocks, right? Uh, 25 potatoes is 0.1 second faster, 0.1 second faster, 0.3 second faster with 250 potatoes. 5,000, so on and so forth, and it just keeps going up. Same sort of idea with lands right there, and the workers, and the ore. So really, they just keep going faster and faster. Very linear, very understandable, and that's what happens. Now, there's one thing that we haven't seen right here, and that is these sort of hospitals or nurses or something like that. Because you see the land, hard hats. <laughs> Are the hard hats part of or minor hats? Okay. I'm guessing that it's all to do with the stuff over here. Soldiers to unlock, fire teams. I don't know. Let's just keep clicking stuff and hopefully it'll make more sense as we get into it. All right. Take a look at the top here. Aha! I got it. I figured it out. All right. So, the <laughs> duh. Now it makes more sense. This right here is how much it costs to make one worker. This is the total assets you have up here. Okay, so you got potatoes, you got land, you got ore, you got weapons, you got medicine. Okay, so it takes one one hat, so it takes a farmer. A farmer then becomes a construction worker. And that construction worker also takes a chunk of land. And it also takes one ore in order to get that worker to make land. Okay, so that's how it works. Your, your, your resources pool up to make a, a higher income individual, essentially, is what the, is going on there. Ha! I have figured it out. So... You have to figure out the pattern, which is how do you make enough potatoes to feed your workers so that you can convert them into construction workers. And then if you're good enough at that, you can then convert them into miners. I got it. Interesting. Okay, so if I buy a farmer, I just get a farmer. Yeah, because a farmer here costs 10 potatoes and one land. So I could buy quite a few of them. If I buy 100%, then I can get 36 farmers. So let's do that. Boom. There we go. Now we got 43 farmers. Da ha ha. We have solved it. I'm glad I didn't make it to the end of the video and have no idea what in the world I was doing. <laughs> now the wealth, I haven't figured out where the money actually comes in because I'm not seeing a cost associated with this. Let's just check it out. It costed something, but there isn't an actual like, oh, okay. Um, no, that's how much you make. I don't know. Apparently it costs money to make workers. So if you click on the money, you then see what it is. If I go over here, uh, we got to get more of that stuff going on, right? So a soldier over here, see, it's costing 250 potatoes, 10 land, three ore, one weapon munition, and five farmers, and also a medicine just to make one soldier. Guy's got high, high standards, man. Just to make a soldier. Ridiculous. Don't even talk about these, these medics. These guys are going to be ridiculous. All right, now, personally, in my opinion, I think that when we actually move from potatoes to land to ore to weapons, you're, you're, 
what type of worker you're trying to make here, I think should maybe change. I think that would make a little bit more sense if those two were tied together. Eh, I don't know. Now that you understand, it's not a big deal. Anyhow, yeah. So one of the other things that I've been working on here. Oh, oh, let me tell you about this. Let me see if it's still unlocked. You guys know that I've been playing Clash Royale quite a bit here. I've been doing a day, not so daily series, but I was trying to do daily series. Anyhow, though, um, I just unlocked. Oh, darn it. It went away. I unlocked the last epic I needed. So I am now a proud owner of the Guardians. Oh, you can't see it. But that is the last epic. I now have every single card in the game that I can have except for the legendaries. So that's pretty cool. I can now move on to the point where I'm just kind of working on the points of actually taking people's recommendations and playing the game. Even it doesn't matter if I lose or anything like that because I have all the cards that I need and ha <laughs> ha, awesome stuff. Anyhow though, that's pretty cool. I'm also looking forward to see where this game's going to go. Obviously right now we're just kind of getting a start into it. I think there's obviously I think some tweaks that they're gonna be making right off the bat. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a miner. We need a miner. Let's buy ourselves a miner. Perfect. It costs a couple of potatoes and it costs a couple of farmers and some weapons, but not a big deal. We'll get a couple of those. And we also want to upgrade that to the next level so we get more rewards out of that. This game actually takes a fair bit of thinking now. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Upgraded those potatoes. Now we're getting 64 potatoes. Talk about some efficient potatoers right there. Doesn't cost a lot to make these guys at all. So we can make farmers by the, by the dozens because food is always by the dozen. You get it? That's not really that funny, but I went for it anyhow. Oh, the other thing I was talking about is VR. I've got all these different programs I've been working on. I've been trying to think of actually making my own custom VR headset, kind of using the phone, using Google Cardboard, which is over here. I demoed it in the last video I was doing right there, kind of in Overwatch, but there's a lot of different programs out there and I figure, you know, why not just see how far I can take my own sort of design right there and how cheap I can make it happen. You know, I might have some connections to where I can actually get a pretty decent phone you know, that it's not going to be under a contract, but it might just work screen wise and actually be able to use that. And then there's all kinds of different softwares that are kind of, kind of free hacking the actual VR setups. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know. We'll see how that all goes. I need more land. That is my biggest restriction right now. I don't have enough land. Um, so let's go ahead and get a couple more workers for the land. We'll get that moving a little bit faster and we'll also try to get it to the upgrade because that's what I really need right there. It doesn't cost a lot of farmers in order to make a construction company right there. So that will then propel us much faster. Obviously you kind of got to figure out your patterns right there. So it really seems like you want to build up these two first as much as you can. Get your potatoes, get your land moving, and then try to go for ore. We were kind of trying to jump ahead a little bit right there. Seems pretty simple that we can go ahead and upgrade that though. It's gonna be needed. We're just focusing on land. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now if you press the money right here, we can take a good look at what else we have going on here. So you press the money for the buy a colony right there, so you get some sort of giant number. 2.46 to the plus 14th or something like that. And, uh, that's going to give you a lot of potatoes, apparently on some sort of counter or something like that. By one colony, it's going to cost a crap ton of potatoes in order to get that, though. That's not going to be a, a short-term sort of thing. <laughs> Anyhow, though, if we go over to land, it then takes a ton of farmers right there. And it also takes a lot of construction workers right there. At least I believe that's what, that's what those are. Might as well call them the right thing. Uh, nope, I don't know what they are. I'm going to call them construction workers. Interesting. Or costs basically the same sort of thing, but just moves it up one peg. What about the weapons? Which does it cost? Okay, it costs a lot of soldiers. Same sort of pattern, just moves it up to the next level. But everything costs a bunch of potatoes. So basically, when it comes down to being a communist, it's all about the potatoes. I mean, that's really all you got to take away from this. You want to be a true adventure communist? You make a lot of potatoes. Well, let's crank up these potatoes, shall we? We could buy 42 farmers, and that's really gonna improve production. Boom, there we go. Obviously, land is the only restriction we got, but every time this finishes, we're gonna get 16 more farmers. Oh, you know what? There was an ant game I played that was pretty similar to this. So it kind of follows that same sort of thing. I don't know what it was. It was some sort of like insectoid thing where you make nests and then they have different insects and they become different, you know, very escalating number sort of clicker game that's I don't know you know what I mean you've probably played it at some point I don't really know what it's called let's see if I can find it oh I don't know um, oh it's gone it's no longer there just forget everything I just mentioned but our potatoes are plenty look at this buy 50 farmers 
Hey, look at this. We can actually get ourselves a commune. How much does that cost? 9,000 potatoes and 50 land and 600 farmers. Are you kidding me? What do I get out of it, though? I don't know. Let's just hang out here for a little while, though, and see if we can get to that. Yes, got ourselves another potato upgrade. We now plant the seeds much closer to each other. Make more potatoes. Increase your profit. Look at that. From 64 to 256. That's what I'm talking about. We know how to we know how to make a potato. I don't know, like how do how do communists sound? Here's that awkward Google search where you're like it's like Google and Hitler and you're wondering if you're gonna end up on somebody's like watching list. Alright, so here we go. How's he sound? He was like, how about? And then they're like, wow, this guy's crazy. Yeah. Basically, I should really just yell into the mic. I think that's what I'm getting out of this. Okay. I can't tell you how many, like, World War II documentaries I have watched. Many! It's actually really fascinating. I don't know what it is about me and, and documentaries, but I absolutely love them. It's good stuff. I mean, educational, hopefully. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. It was a in very interesting time of life, I should say, within the last hundred years. Crazy. Makes you wonder if it could ever happen again, and, well, I don't know. I suppose if it does happen again, we'll, we'll just be like, a giant nuclear wasteland. We'll all be in fallout, except for it'll be real life, and it won't be good. Just hope that never happens, right? Just, let's stick with potatoes and not make nukes, right? And that seems like a great idea. <laughs> Alrighty, so, buy ourselves many more farmers. At this point, the game is, you kind of just sit here and make as many potatoes as you can. Alright, so if we go to buy 50% here, I can get quite a few more land. And if I upgrade land, that'll make it move quite a bit faster. I'm at the point where I get, uh, I have a lot of potatoes, but I don't have a lot of land. So, realistically, I want more land. So we're gonna spend a lot of our farmers though, but we're gonna gain it back in land, which means we're then going to get more farmers, which means we're gonna get more potatoes. That's an interesting Google search. Here we go. We're gonna have fun with this one. All right, question to Google. Do communists eat a lot of potatoes? Communist jokes, oh, here we go. Uh, uh, this website isn't very funny. Uh, we're gonna do a fine for potato. All right, guys, here we go. This is the joke of the day. Farm worker, comrade Stalin. We have so many potatoes that piled on top of the other, they would reach all the way to God. Stalin, but God does not exist. Farm worker, and neither do the potatoes. Communist jokes are terrible. They're not even funny. If I could downvote this website, I think I would. I mean, this is a Wikipedia right here for communist jokes, and they don't even mention potatoes. I don't get it. What, what's up with the potatoes? Some of the best jokes about communism. All right, potato. Come on, don't let me down. Aha! It's the same joke. It, they only have one joke? Are you kidding me? This is pathetic. I'm I'm really being let down right now. There is only one potato joke in all of all of communism's government's history. And now that is the very source that we have to fuel our entire economy. One lousy potato joke. I'm really stretching for creative stuff to do here. I'm just waiting for these potatoes to roll in. But I don't know. I think the potato thing might be growing on me. But it Yeah, not so good. I tried though. Let's upgrade the land. Make more. There we go. Now we get 64 per completion. This should be worth it. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we can buy farmers by the hundreds. Perfect. And upgrade it. Ooh, now we're making over a thousand potatoes per farmer. Truly optimizing our s system. Potato growing. I don't know. And we will spend all these potatoes on land. Bam. I'll have you know that after about 40 minutes of listening to the same loop of music over and over again, you're really done with it. Which is interesting, because in Adventure Capitalist, you never really got tired of the music. This one? <laughs> There's no way you could do a 10 hour video on this. I'm sure somebody will. We'll download it, upload it, and that'll be one of the videos. Adventure Communism Music 10 hour loop. It, it's a requirement. I mean, that's how you're YouTube certified as far as a video game goes. Ha! We now have 791 farmers, which means we're getting pretty close to being able to buy our commune, and that will achieve our goal for today. Hopefully. It's taken a little while to get here. It's actually been about 35 minutes of realistic gameplay to get this far. Hopefully it's worth it. Oh crap, is that wrong? No, that was worth it. All I need is 9,000 potato. Granted, I should probably get a, a few more farmers before I do that, but let's just see what I get. Crank it up. I'm thinking just like any other sort of game like this, you don't want to spend everything you have on one upgrade, because then you might end up undercutting what you need 
not being able to get back to it and then it takes a, a while to build up your farmers again you can see that happening surprisingly we can do four soldiers all right here we go we're gonna buy our first commune let's go ahead and do it okay so a commune will make 550 farmers so that's how that works it's, it reminds me of another game where you'd make nests that same sort of game i was telling you about and then those make more people which make more stuff boom so that's how it works right there that countdown and then i'll make 550 new farmers that comes out of there interesting organize 10,000 communes to unlock whatever this is which will then give me a much larger number of farmers right there or you can spend a lot of cash at some point here just to get a ton of potatoes which then allows you to make a lot more farmers which then allows you to unlock higher tiers of these sort of nests where we grow farmers who then grow potatoes which then unlocks land. So there's a lot of different things that kind of snowball into each other and there's going to be some sort of optimized way of actually rolling all this together to make your communistic ideals come to realization and have a great, amazing country that makes a lot of potatoes, a lot of weapons, drills up a lot of ores, is very large in land and creates new medicine for us. Interesting. Anyhow, though, that is Adventure Communism right there. We kind of got to see it here in the closed beta. There's obviously a lot more to it, so we'll continue to kind of do this. We'll touch on it every now and then, and we'll just kind of explore where this game goes as it develops and if continue to build into it. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Adventure Communism. I'll see you next time. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar. House. 308 farmers. Yes. 24 workers. Guaranteed. Profit. Oh, and if you are a regular viewer and subscriber, maybe consider leaving a like on the way out here to help support my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Kick some ass, Rico. Yeah, what's up, girl? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Oops. Girl, that's not what I thought it would be. And don't hate me. One million. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. That's the sound of money if I ever heard it. Woo. It's kind of got a weird ring to it. I'm liking it so far. Billion angels on Mars. Oh. Oh, you would have been the closest thus far. But you guessed on Mars. And now you're too far. <laughs> hey, man. My rhymes aren't that great, but... They're punny, aren't they? But right down there is takeout, so that's new. It's got mustard, pickles, and ketchup all over the place, making it look nice and tasty. No! <laughs> hey man, you got a little something. A little something right there. 